A voiceless alveolar fricative is a type of fricative consonant pronounced with the tip or blade of the tongue against the alveolar ridge just behind the teeth. This refers to a class of sounds, not a single sound. There are at least six types with significant perceptual differences. The voiceless alveolar sibilant S has a strong hissing sound, as the S in English sin. It is one of the most common sounds in the world. The voiceless dental alveolar sibilant S, also called apicodental, has a weaker lisping sound like English th in thin. It occurs in Spanish dialects in southern Spain. The voiceless alveolar retracted sibilant S, also called apico-alveolar or grave, has a weak hushing sound reminiscent of retroflex fricatives. It is used in the languages of northern Iberia, like Astur Leonese, Basque, Castilian Spanish, Catalan, Galician and northern Portuguese. A similar retracted sibilant form is also used in Dutch, Icelandic, Swedish, Finnish and Greek. Its sound is between S and it occurs in Icelandic. The voiceless alveolar rhotic fricative sounds like a voiceless, strongly articulated version of English R and occurs in Edo, a language spoken in Nigeria. The voiceless alveolar lateral fricative L sounds like a voiceless, strongly articulated version of English L and is written as L in Welsh. The first three types are sibilants, meaning that they are made with the teeth closed and have a piercing, perceptually prominent sound. Voiceless alveolar sibilant The voiceless alveolar sibilant is a common consonant sound in vocal languages. It is the sound in English words such as C and pass, and is represented in the International Phonetic Alphabet with S. It has a characteristic high-pitched, highly perceptible hissing sound. For this reason, it is often used to get someone's attention, using a call often written as SSSST or PSSSST. The voiceless alveolar sibilant S is one of the most common sounds cross-linguistically. If a language has fricatives, it will most likely have S. However, some languages have a related sibilant sound, such as, but no, s. In addition, sibilants are absent from Australian Aboriginal languages, where fricatives are rare. Even the few indigenous Australian languages that have developed fricatives do not have sibilants. The voiceless alveolar retracted sibilant is a fricative that is articulated with the tongue in a hollow shape, and usually with tip of the tongue against the alveolar ridge. It is a sibilant sound that is found most notably in a number of languages in a linguistic area covering northern and central Iberia, and is most well known from its occurrence in the Spanish of this area. In the Middle Ages, it occurred in a wider area, covering Romance languages spoken throughout France, Portugal, and Spain, as well as Old and Middle High German. There is no single IPA symbol used for this sound. The symbol S is often used, with a diacritic indicating an apical pronunciation. However, this is potentially problematic in that not all alveolar retracted sibilants are apical, and not all apical alveolar sibilants are retracted. The ad hoc non-IPA symbols S and S are often used in the linguistic literature, even when IPA symbols are used for other sounds. S, however, is a common transcription of the retroflex sibilant S. Often, to speakers of languages or dialects that do not have the sound, it is said to have a whistling quality, and to sound similar to palatal alveolar. For this reason, when borrowed into such languages or represented with non-Latin characters, it is often replaced with, this occurred, for example, in English borrowings from Old French, in Polish borrowings from Medieval German, and in representations of Mose Arabic in Arabic characters. The similarity between retracted s and has resulted in many exchanges in Spanish between the sounds. During the medieval period when Spanish had both phonemes, examples are jabin, soap, from Latin sapo, saponum, chibia, cuttlefish, from Latin sepia, and tijeras, scissors, from Latin cesorias.
One of the clearest descriptions of this sound is from Obeyed. There is a Castilian S, which is a voiceless, concave, apico-alveolar fricative. The tip of the tongue turned upward forms a narrow opening against the alveoli of the upper incisors. It resembles a faint, and is found throughout much of the northern half of Spain. Many dialects of modern Greek have a very similar-sounding sibilant that is pronounced with a laminal articulation. It occurs as the normal voiceless alveolar sibilant in Asturioleones, Castilian Spanish, Catalan, Galician, working-class Glaswegian English northern European Portuguese, and some Occitan dialects. It also occurs in Basque and Mirandese, where it is opposed to a different voiceless alveolar sibilant. The more common s, the same distinction occurs in a few dialects of northeastern Portuguese. Outside this area, it also occurs in a few dialects of Latin American Spanish, and in many dialects of modern Greek. In medieval times, it occurred in a wider area, including the Romance languages spoken in most or all of France and Iberia, as well as in the Old and Middle High German of Central and Southern Germany. In all of these languages, the retracted apico-alveolar sibilant was opposed to a non-retracted sibilant much like English s. And in many of them, both voiceless and voiced versions of both sounds occurred. In general, the retracted apico-alveolar variants were written s or ss, while the non-retracted variants were written z, c or c. In the Romance languages, the retracted sibilants derive from Latin per second, ss, or ns while the non-retracted sibilants derived from earlier affricates ts and dz, which in turn derived from palatalized k or t. The situation was similar in High German, where the retracted sibilants derived largely from Proto-Germanic per second, while the non-retracted sibilants derived from instances of Proto-Germanic t that were shifted by the High German sound shift. Minimal pairs were common in all languages. Examples in Middle High German, for example, were wizen, to know, versus, wizen, known, and wise, white, versus, wise, way. This distinction has since vanished from most of these languages. In most dialects of Spanish, the four alveolar sibilants have merged into their non-retracted s. In French and most dialects of Portuguese, the four alveolar sibilants have merged into non-retracted s and z, while in European Portuguese, most other Old World Portuguese variants and some recently European-influenced dialects of Brazil all instances of coda s voiced z before voiced consonants were back to c z while in most of brazilian portuguese this phenomenon is much rarer being essentially absent in the dialects that conserved the most archaic portuguese forms and or had a greater indigenous and or non-portuguese european influence in the remaining dialects of Portuguese, found in northern Portugal, they merged into the retracted S, Z, or, as in Mirandes, conserved the medieval distinction. In central and northern Spanish, the non-retracted S was fronted to theta after merging with non-retracted Z, while the retracted S remains. In German, most instances of S were fronted to S, but some were backed to become postalveolar as in European and fluminense Portuguese. Because of the widespread medieval distribution, it has been speculated that retracted S was the normal pronunciation in spoken Latin. However, it equally well could have been an aerial feature inherited from the prehistoric languages of Western Europe as evidenced by its occurrence in modern Basque. Comparison with the Spanish apico-alveolar sibilant The term, voiceless alveolar sibilant, is potentially ambiguous in that it can refer to at least two different sounds. Various languages of northern Iberia have a so-called voiceless apico-alveolar sibilant, which lacks the strong hissing of the s described in this article, but rather has a duller, more grave sound quality somewhat reminiscent of a voiceless retroflex sibilant.
Basque, Mirandese and some Portuguese dialects in northeast Portugal have both types of sounds in the same language. There is no general agreement about what actual feature distinguishes these sounds. Spanish phoneticians normally describe the difference as apical versus laminal, but Ladefidge and Madison claim that English per second can be pronounced apical, which is evidently not the same as the apical sibilant of Iberian Spanish and Basque. In addition, Adams asserts that many dialects of modern Greek have a laminal sibilant with a sound quality similar to the apico-alveolar sibilant of northern Iberia. Some authors have instead suggested that the difference lies in tongue shape. Adams describes the northern Iberian sibilant as retracted. Ladefidge and Madison appear to characterize the more common hissing variant as groove, and symphonetitians have characterized it as sulcul. But in both cases there is some doubt about whether all and only the hissing sounds in fact have a groove or sulcul tongue shape. Features Features of the voiceless alveolar sibilant Its manner of articulation is sibilant fricative, which means it is generally produced by channeling airflow along a groove in the back of the tongue up to the place of articulation, at which point it is focused against the sharp edge of the nearly clenched teeth, causing high-frequency turbulence. There are at least three specific variants of S. Dentalized laminal alveolar, which means it is articulated with the tongue blade very close to the upper front teeth, with the tongue tip resting behind lower front teeth. The hissing effect in this variety of S is very strong. Non-retracted alveolar, which means it is articulated with either the tip or the blade of the tongue at the alveolar ridge termed respectively apical and laminal. According to Ladefidge and Madison about half of English speakers use a non-retracted apical articulation, retracted alveolar, which means it is articulated with either the tip or the blade of the tongue slightly behind the alveolar ridge, termed respectively apical and laminal. Acoustically, it is close to laminal, s, or its phonation is voiceless, which means it is produced without vibrations of the vocal cords. In some languages the vocal cords are actively separated, so it is always voiceless. In others, the cords are LAX, so that it may take on the voicing of adjacent sounds. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Occurrence dentalized laminal alveolar non-retracted alveolar retracted alveolar variable voiceless alveolar non-sibilant fricative. The voiceless alveolar non-sibilant fricative is a consonantal sound, as the international phonetic alphabet does not have separate symbols for the alveolar consonants. This sound is usually transcribed theta, occasionally theta, or Features its manner of articulation is fricative, which means it is produced by constricting airflow through a narrow channel at the place of articulation, causing turbulence. However, it does not have the groove tongue and directed airflow, or the high frequencies, of a sibilant. Its place of articulation is alveolar, which means it is articulated with either the tip or the blade of the tongue at the alveolar ridge termed respectively apical and laminal. Its phonation is voiceless, which means it is produced without vibrations of the vocal cords. In some languages the vocal cords are actively separated, so it is always voiceless. In others, the cords are LAX, so that it may take on the voicing of adjacent sounds. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds.